Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I will show you how to make this popcorn animation using particles in Blender. And before experimenting for this video, I haven't actually played around with particles too much, and it turns out they are really cool, so let's start learning it. You will first need to take the default cube and replace it with a cylinder. You can just leave it at the default settings and go to face select and inset it a bit, and then extrude it downward with E, so that it looks kind of like something that would hold popcorn. And then going into object mode, you can shade it smooth. And a nice tip is if you go into the data properties, object data properties, you can enable auto smooth, which will only shade smooth for that specific angle, which is really nice. We can then go into the physics tab and add a collision and increase the dampening so that the particles don't go flinging out of this popcorn container. Now we need what the particles will be coming out of. In my case, a sphere, but it can really be anything. Then uh, we can move it upward along the Z and scale it so it's a little bit smaller, or at least small enough that objects falling down could fit into the popcorn container. Now we can animate it, but first go into the camera perspective and position it into a spot that you think looks nice. Then we could select the emitter object again and move it along the x-axis in my case and just animate it by hitting I. And then we can move a couple frames forward, animate it along the x-axis again, and then we have a moving emitter object. Now we need to model the popcorn which is pretty simple. All we need to do is add a cube and then add a subdivision surface. And I increase the levels to four, but you can do a little less if you feel like it. Then add a displacement modifier and go into the textures tab and click clouds. You'll see that it's a little crazy right now. So you can play around with scale and the depth if you want to and the strength in the modifier tab. Then when you think it looks good, like a cartoony popcorn kernel, we can call that good. Now let's work with particles. So select the emitter object and go into the particle properties and hit the plus icon, which will add particles. You'll see that it, a lot of random things go around it at the moment, but that will be changed pretty quickly. And if you play the animation, it will just keep emitting objects and they have a very short lifetime. So the first thing that we should change is the frame start to actually start at the right frame. We can then change the end to when the emitter starts moving on. And we'll want to increase the lifetime so that it doesn't just dissolve pretty quickly. We want it to last the entire length of the animation. So we can just enter like something like 250. Doesn't really matter as long as it covers the entire animation. And now under the render tab where it says halo, or hello, however you pronounce that, we change that to object and select the popcorn kernels. And you can now see when we play it, they all come out. Though they are pretty small, so we can change the scale and kind of change it until it looks around the right size. We can also change the scale random so that some are smaller and some are bigger so that it looks a little more realistic, even though it is a cartoony animation. You can now see that the issue we're having is that the popcorn is all clumping together, which we don't want, so we can change this by going under the physics section of the particles and click changing it to fluid, and then going under advanced in that setting and changing the interaction distance. And now there's another issue. You could see that there is popcorn showing on the outside of the container. So to fix this, we could select the container, go into edit mode, select the inside sections, inside faces, scale them inward a little bit, and that should do the trick. Very simple, but it works. And now the final thing we have left to do is make the popcorn blow out of the container. So to do this, we can add a force field and we're actually gonna animate this force field after we move it downward. So to animate it, we're going to go into the force field's physics properties and change the strength and animate the strength after we decide on a good frame for the popcorn to actually be blown out of the container. 
So first, find a good frame and animate it with a strength of zero. Then move one frame over and animate the strength of like around 15 to 20, which is what I found look, looks good. And then we can go over a few more frames and do the exact same thing, but in the opposite. So animate it around 15 to 20, and then go a frame over and animate it at with a strength of zero. You might need to just play around with the location of where it is to make it actually look pretty good. But after you have done that, you'll get something looking kind of like this. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and now have yourself some exploding popcorn that you made in Blender. The materials were all pretty simple. You just go around coloring them with basic textures. I did end up rendering my animation that you saw from the beginning with cycles, which may have explained why it looked a little better. But other than that, I really hope you enjoyed it. And one ra last random thing. Um, why am I selling so many things right now? I don't know. Oh boy, oh. Random, yeah, I know. Bye. <laughs> and, and <laughs> Oh, copper, you messed up my intro.